with his wingman, Joseph Cremarosa, and Steve Whitney. Draw one by Albany, back of their own zone, and now we're going to get a fight. Our first of the weekend, Dan Kelly of Albany will tee off with John Kurtz. Both guys throw away the gloves, come together. First blow thrown by Kelly. Kurtz tries to come back with a right hand, an overhand right. Kurtz's helmet comes off on a Kelly right hand. Of course, the players can't deliberately take their helmets off prior to a fight. And a big right hand connecting for Kurtz, stunning and knocking Kelly to a knee as the lines can jump in. Kelly wanted to get back up and continue the altercation, but as soon as Kurtz connected with a big right, Gibson is blocked down, gets it right back, tries again, and this one is wide on the stick side of John Gibson. Back to Gell at a left point, skates in the ring, cross ice to Whitney, a shot and a score! Whitney for Albany from the right ring with a shot that might have been tipped, but it looked like Joe Whitney driving in his fourth goal of the year on a power play. We will have Keith drop by for a little visit. Coming up here in the intermission after our sports update, back in the studio. Off the faceoff, puck ends up back along the wall, and now we've got a fight here as the period comes to an end. Peter Holland and Darcy St. Jack. This is going to be Peter Holland's second fight already this year as they're in a wrestling match right now back in the Apple zone. Holland's got St. Jack with his arm around his head. St. Jack's helmet comes free. St. Jack tries to throw a right. Holland lost his balance, now keeps his balance, tries to throw an uppercut, and down he goes on top of Darcy St. Jack. So tempers flaring here as the weekend moves along. Two fights in the period. Peter Holland with a nice little scrap there with Darcy Zajac. Back beyond the goal line with a man on him. Knocks him down hard. Gets the pass off to Soro. Cross ice one timer. And breaking his stick on the drive is Steve Whitney. The Atlas w uh, Wagner getting it back out high. Working it in the middle. Shot score. Charlie Soro has tied the game on a power play with 5.09 left to go in the third. And the Antlers make a steal at their own line with Raquel with 20 seconds to go in regulation. Off to Exelby, back to center for Raquel. Rickard Raquel over the line, Spitfelli with a shot, low save, rebound knocked away by Wedgwood. Nine seconds to go in regulation. Now Wedgwood has his body kind of angled towards the corner. And now here comes Raquel. Wedgwood squares up, Raquel in, forehand deking, now firing and a save made by Wedgwood as Raquel tried to blast one home. Number 14, he is a left shot, working down to our right, has the puck a little turn to the right, back towards the middle of the ice, in fires, and Gibson knocks it down. Holland has the puck at center ice, in on Wedgwood, hits the blue line, turns to the right, back in front of the net, deking a spinner, and a move, and a toe save from the left leg by Wedgwood. Second round for Albany in a scoreless shootout. Stefan Mateau. Mateau has the puck. He's a left-hander. Hits the blue line. Slowing down. Holding forehand. Firing and scoring. He hit the far side pipe and it kicked into the back of the net. one nothing and a goal by Mateau. Joseph Cremarosa who scored last night. He's a left shot. Has the puck. Nudging it ahead. Gets it back. Moving in. Holding. Deking. Backhander. And that one looked like it may have drawn iron and bounced away. Joe Whitney is third up for Albany, which leads the shootout 1-0. Whitney has it. He's a left-hander. Cutting in, quickly moving in towards the goal, slows down. Backhander score by Whitney. 2-0 Albany in the shootout on a goal by Whitney. Right shot. Smith Pelley has it. A turn to the right. Back towards the middle. In on Wedgwood. Deking backhander wide. He misses the target, and Albany has won the game. Yeah. They don't even realize, Albany doesn't know they've won the game. <laughs> the PA announcer had to say the game's over. Albany didn't know it. They all stayed on their bench. Now they come out to congratulate Wedgwood as they win the shootout 2-0 and get credit for a team goal and win the game tonight 2-1. To the same score that we had last night with the Admirals winning at a shootout.